This how to save tomato seeds video spans two growing seasons. First season, I will share with you how I easily save my tomato seeds, dry them, and store them. Next, we will look at the second growing season where I have actually used those same tomato seeds that we just saved together in that first growing season. We will also harvest a few tomato varieties, have a little tomato garden tour, and we are focusing a lot on the highly recommended and beloved Prairie Fire Tomatoes. If you haven't tried them yet, you definitely should. But first... Tie-dye green, and we're gonna save some of those seeds, and I've already got them spooned out. And we're just going to take them over here, lay them down, spread them out, trying to bust up that membrane so that they will dry properly and evenly for us. I'm also going to compile myself a caprese salad with some sea salt, olive oil, soft mozzarella. Uh, I find this to be a good opportunity to use where you cut out the shoulder. Also, you can grab some of the seeds with your knife or with a spoon and do some seed saving over here. This is just a paper towel. I do like to tell myself once I research something, I don't have to keep looking, that it's an heirloom, the year that I took these. And when you get them out, just spread them out and get that separated from the membrane and take out the big chunks of tomato in there. Also, Here's all of my tops. So I do compost in place. I have a whole video on this. This is just the last couple days. We can add to that. So I find it to be very useful with these tops. Do your seed saving from there. Okay, now we're over in my seed saving area and this is just two cookie sheets. And I make sure that the wet part is fully on the rack and I've got some distance in between them. This one is the newest one. I saved more seeds probably about two days ago. And if you leave some spots, you can come back and add more as you cut and you use them. And I basically saved seeds from everything new that I grew this year. This one was new I tasted from the farmer's market. It was delicious, so it won't be in the channel as the capacity of what you're seeing here. But this is all of my seed saving kind of YouTube channel workspace. Also at the present moment, saving seeds for these pansies. Also two of the five of my sunflowers. I've already done bok choy earlier in the year. And here's all of my tomato seeds because I'm working on it so much at the present moment. When saving tomato seeds, don't grab them from your plate where I had a caprese salad, which has residue from the cheese, the olive oil, salt, and balsamic vinegar. You do not want that. You want pure, just the seed. That's all you want. Don't take it from the plate. Even like this tomato sandwich that has mayonnaise, bread, and salt in it. Get it pure. Take it from those shoulders before you cold compost or put them on your compost pile. This is now what I would consider unpure and could actually grow some bacteria for you. You don't want that. <laughs> Guys, it is September 12th. It's the next day. Here's Paul Robeson. You can see that I had a lot of good airflow with those cookie sheets, but it's still going to continue to stay here for me because it's only been one day. I usually keep them out for at least a couple weeks. It is October 1st today and I am ready to put the tomato seeds away except for Prairie Fire. 
Guys, uh, they only gave me 15 seeds in this one. And since, like I said, this one was the sweetest, I actually want more than what I have. I've got more room here. So I'm gonna leave this one out. The rest of them, I'm gonna pack away. And here you can see with Paul Robeson, I've already separated this because it is a two-ply paper towel. So if you want more room, and you can see that that is gonna fit into the packet, you can take one of those plies out. They pull up quite easily. And even if you leave a ply there, when you go to plant these or to seed these the next year, don't worry, the water is going to take care of it. It's going to biodegrade if you have one ply or two ply. It does not matter. So I'm going to clean up all of the tomatoes, leaving Prairie Fire out. All right, so everything is back in its organizational system. This is just an old egg container from an old refrigerator. It's kind of the perfect little size for these packets. So if you see one at the thrift store, pick it up. So I did decide to leave the paper towels behind these because I have original seeds within the packet. It's up to you. Uh, I do like to put the taller baggies at the back. Just, it just looks more organized to me. And these paper towels, you can use them for something nasty or you can put them in your compost because they are totally and completely biodegradable. I grabbed more of these prairie fire tomato seeds. And again, just take your spoon, spoon them out, spread them out because you want to break up that membrane that's in there. Plus you kind of want to spread them out a little bit as well with that liquid you can see up top the ones that have dried how I've done that and you can barely see any red marks like you can down here that's all going to dry and dissipate of course you can take your finger and spread them out a little bit more if you would like however when I go to plant these I'll probably grab a grouping like a tight grouping of them right here and then I'll just thin out probably half of that six all right, it's October 25th, looking here at Prairie Fire. And I did go back and get another helping of those seeds. It's been about at least three weeks of them drying on the cookie cooling rack. They are sufficiently dry. Remember, if you think something is a hybrid, to get as much of it as you possibly can, the year that you received your seeds and you grew your seeds because you want these seeds to be as closest to the parent seeds that you just purchased. So get as much as you possibly can. If it's a hybrid, obviously it's not an heirloom. You can't just pick a little bit at a time. You gotta get in here and get as many as you possibly can. <laughs> these are all of the tomatoes that I am growing for the 2024 season. What we've seen previously in the video was 2023 tomatoes. These two in particular right here. And remember with Prairie Fire, I think they only gave me like 10 of these, 15, 15 of these. So I needed to go ahead and get some seed saving done last year, and I have used and given away some of those seeds. So let's look over here. Black Creme, love it. I already have a full video on the channel on Black Creme. I ran out of my entire sheet. So I am now going to have to make another sheet, just like I've done over here. But we'll go look at this. I've got uh, two hybrids right here. We have the Patio Choice Yellow Hybrid, and we'll harvest some of these in a minute. And I also have the Hybrid Chef's Choice Orange. Um, I have one out there we can harvest as well. And I also have the Indigo uh, Cherry Drops. I really, really love this tomato, it's one of my favorites, and you can see I hadn't smartened up and put the year on here yet. Evolution. Um, to me, those taste a lot like a mini black creme. I like an intense, intense flavored tomato. 
Here I've got giant Belgium, and you can see I've just um, stuffed the paper towel in here, and some of those seeds are starting to flake off, so I'm going to leave it the way that it is. This is another heirloom. Absolutely love this one. Um, full videos on this already on the channel as well. Now these two over here, I don't have a seed packet at all for them. I got this at a farmer's market, loved it. They're, they're out there, we're gonna, we're gonna see everything that is on this table. Sweet 100s, I picked this up at a greenhouse. This is the only thing that I have. Uh, and all I did here was mark the year, but I keep it in my nice little organizational system of this plastic bag. Um, with plastic bags, like I said, I get paranoid and I will not fully close these so that I still can get a little bit of airflow in here, but I can keep things nice and organized in my big old baggies. So let's go outside now and let's harvest these Patio Choice Yellow Hybrids. Okay, we are now outside and we are going to harvest first our orange so our chef's choice orange which is in the back back here and i have this one in a container also in ground so it has a really nice cush to it i've already gotten one off of this container um, i'm just gonna tilt it comes off pretty easy for us. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and harvest that Patio Choice Yellow Hybrid. And look at how great this is doing. Guys, these were the last two seeds I had in the packet. They came out nice and strong. And this packet, let me see, it says it was packed in 2017. So, I mean, they keep for a while. So let's go ahead, I got a really nice push in and cush on this. These have been ripe on the vine for quite some time, so they are holding very well for me and they're not really even splitting when they hold. And they taste wonderful, they're juicy, they have an exceptionally good flavor on them. Okay, now we're gonna harvest these indigo cherry drops and you can see I have used this sheet for quite some time and this is exactly how these were started. They were started off of the sheets and they have a beautiful red bottom. They have a nice cushion, beautiful tops on them. They have absolutely fantastic flavor. Look at this nice truss full. All right, this is the tomato harvest so far. Okay, here's the sweet 100s right back here. Excellent, isn't it? All right, and the pink delicious tomato right here. And here is the giant Belgium. Hmm, looks like this method of seed saving works, don't you think? All right, I also have giant Belgiums in containers. And the Pink Delicious, also in containers. I have got a spindly looking Prairie Fire, also in a container. And here's where we just picked with those three, the orange, the yellow, and the Indico Cherry Drop. Here is an additional Cherry Drop. Look at how gorgeous that looks in the sunlight there. Those are the Sweet 100s the Pink Delicious, the Giant Belgium, and an in-ground Yellow Chef's Choice. Now let's go out here to the Tomato Warehouse. Okay, so this definitely does not look pretty, but it is very functional. I have some chewy boxes down here so that I do not have to consistently weed. I don't wanna weed. Everything back here I've already done a full video on. Look at those prairie fires, they are gorgeous. So, what do you think? Do you think just being patient and drying them on a clean paper towel works? I would say it does. Here's Prairie Fire right yeah. here. Thor Burns Terracotta. Yep, look at that nice mass. Excellent. These two right here are ready to pick. Obviously, some over here are still ready to pick too, so I'll harvest those. And here we go, Black Creme. Look at this big bad boy right here. Look at these. Excellent, excellent. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for these. So, I don't know, paper towel method, you think that works? There's lots of different methods that people can do with seed saving. Method means pretty much a way. Not just one way is right for everybody. This one definitely is right for me. I've been doing it for absolute decades. It works for me. It's easy for me. I've also seen that self-sufficient me, Mark, on his channel does the same exact thing that I've done for decades. It works. Don't let somebody garden bully you into their method if this method works for you. This is the easiest method, I believe. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.